SBG, another one that we have not looked at here since April 21st. The last time that we went through this one together was going to be on March 20th, it looks like. And that's going to be quite a ways back here. But either way, uh, I kind of want to talk about what happened here. We were watching this one, triple zero five went all the way up uh, right here. You guys see that uh, in January, triple zero five. it looks like then we covered it in February at 0016. And then just basically falling down since, unfortunately, getting down there, even tapping triple zero one um, right down there. Okay, you guys obviously coming back down there, resting at that triple zero two area. We see that happening here for quite some time. Just can't get that buying pressure to pick back up. 161 million shares traded on uh, May May 3rd. May 3rd, I apologize about that. And then April 26th, 826 million shares, and you could not get past triple zero three. It even went down to tap triple zero one. With 826 million shares, something's probably going to be telling me here either there's a lot of shares or a lot of selling here, just not enough for this one to move. Um, right here, you kind of see that picture perfect uh, straight up launch it right here, essentially. I mean, that is a nice move, but I would have liked to see that spread it out more like that instead of a straight move because when it goes straight up, I'm straight back down. We see that all the time, but right here, unfortunately, right now, triple zero two, gonna need to break that triple zero three. You guys have that resistance right there at that triple zero three is going to be the heaviest resistance. If you guys get a close above triple zero three, this one could turn bullish and really start to rock and roll right now. I think that there's just too much selling going on here. I'm telling you guys what I see here uh, within this chart. The resistance triple zero three and four and six. Give me the ones that I'm personally watching here, uh, especially that triple zero three, because that's where the 10, 20 and 30 day simple moving average all tie together with ISBG. That being said, we can hand it off to Joe and see what he can add. All right, so we haven't heard much from these guys since their last press release on April 11th, and that was International Spirits and Beverage Group strengthens market position as flagship product revenues continue to grow. That's with the uh, Visado Platinum Tequila. All right, so um, let's see what the float. $4,950 billion. That's as of April 28th, 2017. No, oh, no, not the float. That's the authorized. The float hasn't been updated since uh, May 17th, 2016. And that was uh, 1,238,350,320 shares. And the filing. So right now there's a yield sign with pink limited information. So that hasn't been pretty much that. All right, so if you uh, have any information on the company or you – have an opinion or you want to do more due diligence go right over to that isbg board on investor channel from there you'll see the company profile the time and sales the recent news the filings the financials the buy rating and as always if you have an opinion on the company feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have used in investors hangout daily i'll post them right over there on that board isbg again triple zero two watch for a break at triple zero three in my opinion selling here needs to slow Resistance is going to be at that three, four, and six. I know that's close together, but those are what I see, especially that three and four. You're going to have that support. Triple zero two, we're going to continue to watch this one. ISBG, if you follow the stock, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share this video with all other investors. We would appreciate that very much. And check us out live, investorshangout.com forward slash live.